Hey everyone, this is Matthias. Today I wanted to quickly show you how we can get StyleGAN up and running with a custom data set. So right now we are in the official repository for StyleGAN. This is the TensorFlow implementation, which is what we'll be using today. Uh, we'll just download the repository. Uh, we'll of course put it in our downloads directory. Uh, we'll just move that over into the directory where we're going to be doing the work, right? So in my case, that's Python machine learning tutorial. So let's go in there and uh, and make some configuration changes. So hopefully you already have your data set uh, ready. I do. Um, I have it right here, 50K 128. Uh, and that's just 50,000 images of watches in 128 by 128 resolution. Okay, cool. So now we need to actually turn this these images into TF records because that's what StyleGAN takes. So we'll do that very quickly. It is just Python dataset tool.py create from images. If I remember correctly. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this datasets directory does not come in the, uh, the StyleGAN master directory. So you'll have to create this. Anyway, back to what we're doing datasets and we'll just name it custom dataset and now we need to give it um, the path to where the actual where the images are right so that's 50k and then 128 hopefully nothing uh, goes wrong okay great so i will get back after this gets done uh, transferring all those images into tf records Okay, so we just turned all of our data into TF records. Um, we should be able to see that in custom data set here. So now it's time to actually make some configuration changes before training, right? So let's go to train.py. I don't have eight GPUs, unfortunately. So we will go on comment one, <laughs> comment one. Okay, so now we also need to specify where we actually have our data set. Now, there's a tutorial on my website where I talk about doing this, so I'm just going to copy it from here. It's kind of lazy, but that's the way I'm going to do it. So it doesn't really matter for tutorial purposes because you'll be able to see all the same. We named our data set custom. I believe it was custom data set. Yeah, custom data set. So custom data set. Custom data set. Um, at this point in time, I can't remember if I need to specify the path to the dataset. So like dot datasets slash custom dataset. I believe it automatically looks in the datasets directory, but uh, we'll find out here in just one second. And now just our resolution. So for me, that's 128 by 128. I'm just going to put 128. Let's go ahead and try to train and see what happens. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> So let's go train.py. Okay, so training is now running. We're all good. We got everything set up properly. So I hope that was useful to you. Um, I, I should note that I tried this on TensorFlow 2.0. Uh, and it did not work, so you might have to, uh, you know, go back to an earlier version if you are if you are using 2.0. Um, but yeah, so this will uh, output your progress into results, and then custom data. Sorry, this is uh, one I used before. Um, is it here? Could be here. Um, so yeah, so that's the way uh, this works. I hope that all made sense and was useful to you. Like I said, um, if you have any questions about how this works or you, ha you run into any problems, just let me know and I'll try to help you through them. I have a contact form on my website. I'm probably going to put this video into its own article um, and maybe try to clear a couple things up that way a and leave you know some of the things I copy and pasted in that article. That way you can do, you can do so as well. So yeah, I hope uh, that helped you out and Check out some of the other uh, videos on my channel if you're interested in this kind of thing, and I'll see you guys next time.